Boy, I hope Roselle isn't claustrophobic. Here we are, Cuddle Poo. Mm, 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 mm. Home again to this awful, dreary, miserable little house. Clearly, this is the perfect time to check out the house. Well, that's the biggest floor rat I've ever seen. And I happen to know its name is Rosella. Burn. Hey! How elaborate. <laughs> Oh, that was brilliant, Rosella. Next time we hide from the nasty fairy. But that wouldn't be any fun. Here we are, Cuddle Poo. Bah, repeated dialogue. Okay, bravely hide. Hi, doggy. That dog's eyes freak me out. Hush, doggy, go away. What have you found, Cuddles, my love? Let me see. <gasps> oh, it's a nasty little termite. Ow. That darn little dog. His nose is just too sharp. Rosella sure is good at getting zapped. Yep, nothing like defoliant to mess up your sinuses. Kissy boy. <laughs> Would Cuddles feel better if we went out and found him someone to bite? Absolutely. <laughs> Would him? <laughs> Anything my Cuddles wants, him gets. So yeah, Alicia has a few violence issues. I know, shocking. <laughs> Safe enough now. Rosella, the thing we are looking for is a device made of brass and many lenses. It's an ancient and mysterious artifact. The only thing in Etheria that could destroy Militia. But she doesn't know that. It could be anywhere. Hmm, sounds like a MacGuffin, all right. Look at all that makeup. I wonder where she keeps the trowel. Probably in the garden shed. King Otar, what is all this stuff? <laughs> when Malicia stole the device from me, she asked me what it was. I reluctantly told her it was a machine for turning lead into gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she must have spent hours trying to figure out how it works. Good one, your majesty. So, Malicia's a moron, huh? What a shock, a violent idiot for a villain. This looks promising. No? Well, third drawer is a charm. This looks promising. Hey, that was my line. How odd. Ew, pink later hosen. Yeah. Eh, I've seen worse. Ah, my eyes! Wow. I don't even want to know. That's it! Take it! Quickly! <laughs> this is the whole thing? How does it work? It must be plugged into a socket in the volcano control room in the underground, so that it may regain its power. It is useless until then. After the device is activated, it can be used to stop any living threat to Etheria. 
I don't know exactly what it will do. We'll find out soon enough, if we are fortunate. Wow, it's the mother of all MacGuffins. It's a thingy, it's critical to the plot, it's the villain's weakness, and it looks utterly ridiculous. Well done, Sierra. Well done. I can't think of anything else that needs to be done here, so let's just get out of here. Oh, snap -a nation There you are, you wretched little vandal! <laughs> oh, that was brilliant, Rosella. Next time we hide from the nasty fairy. Note to self, good thieves conceal evidence of their presence. There we go. Oops. Can't leave that behind. This looks useful, not to mention ugly. But what is it? Or do I want to know? Oh, thank goodness, it's just a stocking. Okay, now we can leave. I hope. Cloaking device on. Engage warp drive. This looks familiar. Could we have a chapter crossover in the making? Oh yeah, that guy. Wanna be my friend? Hi there. Nope. That's one tough guy. I need something that could knock him for a loop. Hey, thanks for the hint. All right, sling time. Yeah, that should do it. Eat silver, Teen Wolf Reject. <laughs> bad animation is bad. Ah, you stole our cloaking device. Well, here we are in Chapter 3. Uh, I mean, the Enchanted Woods. Huh? Where's Addis? That's odd. Ceres is still a tree, but Addis is nowhere to be found. Uh, almost like they removed him or something. Well, whatever. May as well just kill Rosella. It's good fun. I think I'd better find another way to cross the river. Hooray for drowning! Hey look, the music glitched out. Wow, this game's just so well coded, huh? Yep, so impressed. Alright, I guess it's time for a static transition then. Three, two, one, go! That's better. Yep, it's Folderall.